Health Minister Dr. Christopher Tufton says Jamaicans will have to find a balance this Christmas. He argues that the country cannot abandon its COVID-19 fight, but at the same time, the government does not want Christmas to be cancelled. He was speaking a short while ago during the Ministry of Health's weekly COVID-19 conversation. Because it is somewhat of a depressing forecast, given what we are accustomed to. And we appreciate that, and we understand the potential consequences or side effects from COVID fatigue. Are we to wave goodbye to Christmas, or otherwise throw caution to the wind and do as we please? The cost could be significant. I submit that neither extreme is necessary. And this is something we have been discussing, not just in public health, but in the whole of government. We should instead act on the strength of the evidence before us, utilizing the tools at our disposal and which are intended to guard against infection and death. The country is, however, being warned to expect a spike in COVID-19 cases come January. The projection comes amidst an ex acceptance that more persons will be visiting Jamaica for the usual Christmas period. The Norman Manley International Airport alone is expected to receive close to 100,000 persons in Jamaica between November and December. Greater numbers of persons visiting our shores means the probability of an increase in infection also will go up. And we have seen that happen in the past. We anticipate that it will happen again, which means the very distinct and strong possibility that given the traditions of Christmas, we will see a spike come January. Of course, a lot depends on how we manage the situation. Now, meanwhile, two more persons died yesterday from COVID-19 in Jamaica. This has increased the country's death toll to 235. The latest deaths are that of a 53-year-old woman and a 63-year-old man, both from Kingston and St. Andrew. Another death is being investigated by the Ministry of Health. Meanwhile, the country's COVID-19 case count has increased to 10,088. 69 new cases were recorded yesterday. Their ages range from 3 months to 83 years old. The number of persons hospitalized with the respiratory illness has further increased to 91. Seven are critically ill.